it should say is it the south but it's an error true but I'm not sure let's hope so now I've I found I've defeated the first enemy now I'm going to to the actual city and see it's pretty bad there as well I don't mind me I'm gonna eat something okay mm -hmm. For example, I missed like five hits, something along those lines, and now, yeah, as you can see, I'm according to the statistics, I'm extreme badly which is true if you only look at the turns but it's not that terrible actually like, I'm not losing the game because of it it is to be fair a bit harder now but it's not that terrible Right, and if you're thinking, how am I supposed to win this in 7 turns, remember that, I'm not act that I don't have to win in 7 turns, I only have to make it over there, which I obviously can achieve. Look, no, you're learning. And I have to keep them alive somehow. The problem is they're extremely squishy. So that might be not that might not be quite easy. Another thing is that um, the out the bandits are going to burn down villages now. Which is not nice at all. Like, seriously? It's not nice. First of all, I want to, them to attack instead of attacking villagers. Which might be pretty difficult. And of course I want to re recall my glory units. I didn't recall the Merfolk over there because obviously it's, it would be annoying to get them from there over to there. Ah, uh, yes. Great. I'm dead. No! It's something I wanted to avoid. Ah, 
Ouch. This might make me not the reload again. But I'm going to throw this one as bait. So maybe he will survive. Hopefully. Whoops. Okay, he survives. That's good. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was done. Yeah. So you can see it's it's also way easier uh, to mess up if if you play a harder scenario. Whatever. The first part is obviously easy, the second part is hard because um want it again. Right. Because the enemies arrive when it's night. And before that I only have to Yeah, fight pretty much nothing. At least nothing to threaten it. Go a bit more aggressive. This one and this one. Now, he's probably going to be attacked. Oh, I actually didn't expect that one. Not it. Okay. In that case, let's just skip on a couple of things. Like, um,. Fighting them. Like, because if I can just go over there and take the key, that's nice. Oh, not there. Probably have to go over there. Nope. Okay, so. Four movement points. Ouch. Also, I have to go over there to make it work. Well, I can do that. Worst case, one of my spearmen is going to die, but yeah, I'll put the Sphinx. Okay, I didn't expect him to not attack at all, but I'll take it. So now I've survived, now I'm in a way better position. So yeah, there is... Uh, it's not a bad decision to just uh, reload later when you know more. Because and if you know more, you can... Uh, you are better prepared and can make better decisions. Neat. Pretty nice. I'm not taking this village, or this one even, because it's about to become night time. And if I take those villages and they take them back, they will burn into the ground, which is not something I want. I want to. I want for my villages to survive and just retake them back down. Okay. Better. Oh, this is not the right moment to level up my peasants. I mean, they can't do anything at all about those skeletons. And even though they can do something about those guys, 
point is it's it's about to be night time. So they die way too easily. Let's see if I can pick up off some of them. Exactly. How many people can Might work, although this not this one might die. Which is not that bad. I just want to make sure that this village is not burned down. Yet it might work. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> oh, that was really lucky. I didn't expect him to make any kills and I was ready for him to die. Because it was totally possible. Which, uh, priority was obviously him, that he won't die. So, problem is it's still night, the undead are there. Time to make some sacrifices. Like, obviously they're not going to kill them, they're just to slow down a bit. He can make kills, sure, but that's about it. He's just there to um, tank some damage. Three homage to seven? Yeah, they, they do like four damage to him. It's pretty much nothing. He can take them. Yeah, I'm gonna gamble over here a bit. No, come on. Lucky? Um, and why I decided to risk this one anyway, even though that was pretty dicey and he might have died if we didn't kill him. Uh, I think he's more less important than a loyal human. Even though they're level 0 now, I can obviously level them up. This one surviving is very unexpected, honestly. But as usual, I take it. Like, uh... Luck isn't just about dealing with bad fallout, but it's also about dealing with the good fallout. If that makes any sense to you, I know it does to me. Just have to... yep, that works. Awkward. And they will absolutely need some help to deal with them. First of all, uh, get rid of the skeletons. Actually, I could just let him go. 
Okay, so maybe he will destroy a village, but maybe he won't. But at least uh, my mouth, my mouth is not going to die while trying to stop him. Lucky again. Should I be lucky? No, I'm over plus minus zero almost. Like just a small number. So I don't hesitate to move him into water because I'm pretty sure that I can kill this one. But I shouldn't do it. Honestly. Can I? Yes I can. I'll rate I can't, but I'm going to risk it anyway. Oh. That's looking pretty good for me. Yeah, it's on I have my mobile mobile village over here. It's a good thing about healers, you don't have to rotate your units uh, to villages and back, you just have to rotate, rotate them to the healer and back. And you can move the healer, so they don't have to go very far. Still want to scare. Yeah, I can attack without dying, so that's what I'm gonna do. Same for this one. I just can. Oh! More Merfolk, nice. Like, I know that one of our deaths has... Yeah. They made sure to include Merfolk as much as possible in this campaign. So, as I said in the previous scenario, can can technically finish this campaign now with Malfog only, but while it was previously like uh, you had Malfog, but you rarely had a, uh, had a reason to use them because the map just wasn't designed in a way that allowed usage of them. But they changed it, they um, made the new maps, who look pretty nice honestly. And also made sure that Merfolk have an actual role to play in this, in this campaign. Yep. Anyway, now uh, I'll uh, just play to have some, some undead. And next, we want to find out where did they get those undead. How did, are they able to summon them? Because it's not a skill most people have. Look, I'm actually in plus minus zero uh, about about hits taken and dealt. It's nice. So and uh, this is just I I don't really think you no, know, it's not important to kill him, but I want a free XP. And preferably give killing blow to my lawyer unit. Oh no, he died. I wish. Next one. Let's go to the elf. I'm going to pick a level 3 unit to actually make use of the, of the loyal trade. Yeah. I think it's. I attack this one, he can do more against Undead. <laughs> like, if, if I take a Pikeman, he's just going to deal pretty much zero damage against Skeleton. So, again, I will end the stream and restart it for the next scenario. Don't forget to reload the page so you can actually see the next stream instead of wondering why the hell I stopped streaming. This has hap happened to some people. I'm not gonna say names. Tazin. See you in a second.